Hello and welcome. I'm Chris Osborne, Vice President of Programs for First Indiana Robotics. Thank you for tuning in as we announce the two first LEGO League Challenge teams who will move on to the next round of competition in the 2022 Global Innovation Award presented by Qualcomm. I would like to introduce Lori Langley, first senior mentor and coordinator of the Global Innovation Award nomination process for Indiana. Lori? Thanks, Chris. As part of the first LEGO League Challenge Cargo Connect season, teams were given the tasks to identify a problem related to improving the transportation journey of products, to thoroughly research that problem, and then design a new piece of technology or improve an existing one. Students have to consider the most efficient design for their users, possible barriers to implementation, document the evaluation of their invention, and validate their design with professionals working in STEM. This year, teams with exceptional innovation projects advance from their qualifying tournaments to participate in further judging to determine which teams will be the two nominees that will represent Indiana for a chance to compete in the 2022 Global Innovation Award presented by Qualcomm. Last Saturday, five finalist teams presented their solutions to a panel of judges and answered questions about their design process and their solutions potential for impact. We wish to thank those who served on our judging panel, led by Dr. Jeffrey Nowak, for their time and for their dedication to FIRST programs. I'd like to introduce our FIRST LEGO League program manager, Tricia Thompson, who will tell you more about our five teams who competed on Saturday because they truly impressed our judging panel with their innovative solutions and their awesome presentations. Hello, Trish. Hi, Lori. I wanna take this opportunity to congratulate all these teams on a job well done, and I'm excited to tell everyone about their projects. Starting off, we have team 4367, Younger Nerd Herd from Lafayette. They discovered a problem that occurs when boxes are delivered in bad condition. Their solution, the Eco Box, is a strong, durable box that is 100% renewable. The Eco Box has three components triple wall cardboard, green wrap, and mushroom packaging. The Eco Box solves the problem the team identified by protecting products in an eco friendly way. Next, we have Team 7320 iRobotics from South Bend. They created a series of interlocking boxes for transporting tomatoes and other goods such as plums, apples, and avocados. This solution solves the problems farmers face when produce is damaged in transport by bumps and moisture, as well as produce going bad too early. It does this using several forms of sponges and carbon filters to absorb ethylene gas. Team 10869, the Thunderbots from Bedford, identified a problem that occurs when people and packages get stuck in scissor lifts, causing packages to get damaged and people to get injured. The team learned that when people get hurt, the company may have to pay for the injury, so they designed a solution to put baffles around scissor lifts. This would stop people or packages from getting crushed. Team 20172, the Circuit Breakers from Bluffton, created a solution called CAS. This uses a laser scanning system and semi-trailers that notifies the driver when a load shifts during transport, which helps to reduce damage to the product in the trailer. By scanning the load every 15 minutes, the driver will be notified and able to fix the issue and secure the load before any additional damage to the product occurs. Team 31195 Hero Vision from Mishawaka learned that inclement weather decreases a truck driver's ability to see passing cars through the side view mirror. Their Hero Vision box contains a millimeter wave radar and sonar sensor to detect vehicles in the driver's blind spot. The team solution provides truck drivers with an easy way to add sensors to any make or model of truck without an extremely high cost and any time of day and in any location. These teams should be commended for their creative and innovative designs, and we hope all of them will continue to pursue the implementation of their solutions. 
teams, many of you have already made strong connections with experts who can help you on your journey. And we encourage you to keep innovating. And don't forget, keep your Finn family updated on your progress because we are cheering you on. Yes, we look forward to seeing where this journey takes you. And now it is time to announce the teams that will represent Indiana for the chance to advance to the 2022 Global Innovation Award presented by Qualcomm. The first Global Innovation Award rewards teams for exemplary innovation project solutions. This year, Indiana gets to nominate two teams whose solutions epitomize innovation. Congratulations to Team 7320 iRobotics from South Bend. And congratulations to Team 31195 Hero Vision from Mishawaka. With high fives and admiration, we wish you both the best of luck as you move on to the next level of competition. Congratulations to all the teams this season who competed at all of the competitions, and especially our two nominees as they advance to the next round of the Global Innovation Award process. We'll see you soon. Good night.